comes the doctor of Thugonomics. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 248 pounds, John Cena. I heard this guy writing some lyrics about Saxton. They're pretty savage. He did? What did he say? Well, Cena found a lot of rhymes for idiot. Surprising. <laughs> Now more ruthless and aggressive than ever before, we are finally seeing the real John Cena. He's too cool to watch out for the stink face. From the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds, Rikishi! He's held the Intercontinental Championship, multiple tag team titles. And Kishi may be the best dancer in WWE history, besides you, Cole. Thanks, Corey. I won a number of dance contests. Hey, did you guys know I used to watch Rikishi tapes to get ready for my eighth grade? Anyhow, Corey, what do you think about Rikishi and his career? I think Rikishi is one of the most fun-loving, yet dominant WWE superstars we have ever seen. Deceptively agile, hard-hitting, and no one has more fun than the big man. What about me? Saxton, get off the desk. This is not permission for you to twerk. Ah, I'm raising the roof, Corey. Watch me. After a mountain of title matches and main events, John Cena absolutely earned the nickname Big Match John, a testament to his ability to pull out the win in even the highest pressure situations. No matter the stakes, Cena is always ready to step up and deliver. The sleeper is cinched in, and you can... Gets to the ropes, and that's going to cause the ref to break the hold. What are they doing here? And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. All the weight down. Ah, well, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. Textbook scoop slam. Rikishi is picking the competition apart. Cena's perseverance being tested. Oh, what a close line. Headed to the top now. Flying. Down with force. And shoulders are down. Two count and a kick out at two. This could be a tipping point in this match. Oh, yeah, Rikishi. Not allowing that to go on any longer. More often than not, it seems like a John Cena victory is a foregone conclusion. How do you keep yourself from becoming just another notch in his belt? Meet him head on. John Cena's motto is, you want some, come get some, so give him some. The key factor is making sure you're in it for the long haul. Does he get him here? He's able to beat a two count. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Rapid fire Samoan drop. Oh my, we got a cover. Kick out just before two. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Big forearm. Just caught flush. A little oh. insult to your injury. Cena now taking the brunt of the attack. Cena's being given some right now, and this guy's showing he's ready for the long haul against the franchise of WWE. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. Boom, running. STO 
plants him. Nicely done. And he has an answer for Rikishi. What's Cena about to carry out? DDT! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. with a counter. He gets back into the ring. Oh, man. Rikishi is a man on a mission now. Corey, this superstar is getting right back in this match. It's almost unbelievable what we're seeing with our own eyes. Believe it, Corey. Believe it. Back body drop. Exclamation point! Mind Buster! This is it! Ah, barely kicks out! He just won't give up! Boom, what a kick! Uh-oh! Answering back! Planted by the DDT. Oh, caught by the back elbow. I don't think Rikishi was having any fun absorbing that blow. Cena taking things up a notch, rising to the occasion. Elbow drop. Piercing. Golly. John Cena with a rough blow there. Boom. Constant pressure being put on by Cena. Cena's having his way. Russian leg sweep. He's heading up top. Thinking big. From the top, the leader of the C Nation. I think we can safely say, will it be? I think so. And he fights it off. So, so close. That could have been it. Looking for a unique move here. Well, on their shoulders. Oh, into an AA. Can Rikishi come back from that? Two. Finally, it's over. Here is your winner, John. A strenuous victory here tonight. John Cena won tonight, showing the true power of hustle, loyalty, and respect. Kevin Owens is always ready for a fight. The following contest is a fatal four-way extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Credit where credit's due, Owens realized his shortcomings and is refocused recently. Indeed, the prize fighter's back. A look of pure focus on the face of the prize fighter. Because KO always has his eyes on the prize. Well, here comes the master strategist. Hey, the strategies seem to be working. And his opponents, first from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn. I think he's an amazing talent, but he's also kind of a jackass. Don't you dare say that word in Sammy's presence.
the master strategist about to create a masterpiece. The Texas Rattlesnake looks ready to hunt. Oh, buckle up, we are about to see a fight. And from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is a man who instilled defiance in an entire generation. Not many fans in the boardroom or the locker room, but beloved by the WWE Universe. Absolutely no one comes close to the fury of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Silent Man has arrived. Dexter Loomis is here. And from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 230 pounds, Dexter Loomis. Just the absolute nothingness when you look into Dexter's eyes, it's horrifying. There are sinister plans at work in this man's head right now. The eyes of an artist who will paint a picture of his victims before their match. Competitors dread seeing their image painted by Loomis. I wasn't going to say anything, but Loomis painted Saxton earlier today. He did? Wait, can I at least keep the painting? Sure. If you survive. Dream rules match set for tonight, which means the only rules are that there are no rules. This will surely be one chaotic match with Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Steve Austin, and Dexter Loomis. Things are about to get extreme for these superstars. We've all seen how quickly this type of match devolves into absolute insanity. He's returning fire. God, pendulum back and the cover for the win. This is it. And he only stays down for a one count. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. Zane with a takedown. Oh. It's locked in the Koji clutch. Give up now. And he breaks the hold. No clue what he hopes to find down there. A table. The WWE Universe is going wild. And returning to the rank. Ooh, well measured. Crafty way to get out of harm there. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Knee right to the gut. Owen's not afraid to mock his opponent both behind their back and to their face. And then here he goes for the win. Oh, and he breaks up the pin. Hoist it up. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. He's setting it up on the ring apron right now. You've got to wonder what he has in mind here. He gets set down to the floor. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Nasty elbow shots trying to create separation. 
power suplex. He's lost some of his win now. Austin dodges that one. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. Oh, God. Better check your teeth after that. Hurricane Rana. Oh, disturbing impact. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. I'll scramble your insides. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. I don't care who you are. You can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. And he barely evades. And gets tossed back into the mat. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Not the position you want to be in right now. And that DDT was well delivered. Shoulders down! Shoulders up before two. Still not enough to put him away. Place. Able to reverse that one. Returning to the ring now. Dexter Lewis. And that was a precise. He breaks up the hold. Oh, look out. Heading to the ladder now. Oh, no. An almost lifeless Cole. And this one might be headed ringside. He can end it here. He got him. A defiant kick out after one. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. The sledgehammer. How do you recover from that? That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. KO about to sew this up. Lost shoulder up before three. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. And KO is pissed off. That kick out just slipped an even bigger fire under Owens. Bulls line! This match's brutality starting to show on him. Showing a lot of fortitude in this Extreme Rules match for sure, but not sure how much more tenable it can be. Can't prepare your face for that. Count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Oh, look at this. Austin! Pile driver! And that it connects from Sami Zayn. Behind. Into the tournament. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. And he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. He is obviously taking way too much pleasure in this right now. Owens taking yet another punishing attack there. Yeah, this fatal four-way has certainly taken its toll, Michael. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. Kicks out. He still has life. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Up they go! Oh, atomic drop! There's... Wow, what a start by the rattlesnake! Loomis looks out of it. DDT! We're reaching a point where these superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's gonna find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? Compromised position here. Uh-oh! No! Carry the way! The very punchable Sami Zayn trying to goad his opponent a little bit here. Up and down with a jarring back suplex. And there was some force on that move. That cold blankness of Dexter Loomis uh, gives me chills. Sit straight into the barricade. Oh, impact to the stomach. And Sami Zayn reverses it. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. DDT planet. And that one busted up Austin, too. German suplex. And somehow Dexter still has offense left to give. Yeah, no time for playing around at this point, and Dexter is fully aware of that. He'll head to the ring. Oh, no! And did you hear the impact of that? Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. 
This one is headed outside, guys. Go behind. Corbin, nine! Kevin Owens clearly not afraid of a little fight. Oh. And it's Austin who finds himself on the receiving end there. Now, but still be careful. A rattlesnake cornered is at its most dangerous. Uh-oh. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. A baseball bat with a weapon like that in play? This is not going to be good. A good punch. measure. Just tormenting his opponent. Flashing that bat. And that was a well-executed attack. What a shot. And there's more resiliency from Loomis to just keep battling. And in the back of Dexter's mind, he has to be telling himself to finish this fight soon. Using that chair to play mind games with his opponent. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Saw that coming. What impact! Right in the kisser. Dexter Loomis, submission hold locked in. Needs to break this submission. Desperate left hands, trying to free himself, and he does. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Uh-oh. Jawbreaker! Call it Dennis. Oh, disturbing impact. And the cover for the win! Got him! And he wins the fatal four-way! Here is your winner, Sammy Zayn! What an incredible conclusion to this fatal four-way. All four competitors in this match gave everything they had. But there can only be one winner in the end, and you are looking at them. It's fight night! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! The leader of the Brawling Brutes. I'll tell you, this guy will fight anyone, even his friends. Well, it's a good thing Seamus doesn't consider you a friend. Still a lot of fights left in the Celtic Warrior, that's for sure. A pint and a fight is a good Seamus night. And my sources say the Celtic Warrior already has a couple cold ones waiting backstage. One of the biggest names in WWE, the Viper. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton. The Viper won his first WWE Championship at the age of 24. The youngest world champion in history. Such an accomplished career for this young man. He's been part of some dominant groups like Evolution, Legacy, and Rated RKO. But gentlemen, we know that the Viper is at his best when he hunts alone. Well, the key to victory for him is to find a way to match the brutal physicality of Sheamus. Easier said than done, Saxton. No one matches brutality with the Celtic Warrior.
If there's one thing Sheamus has made clear in his time here in WWE, it's that he loves to fight. No kidding, Cole. Red hot temper, ferocious offensive style. Sheamus never backs down from a fight and has certainly never been in a fight that he didn't think he could win. Well, I'm not so sure about all that, but I am sure that we're going to see a fight here tonight. And across the way is the apex predator, Randy Orton, a man whose cunning tactics and deadly wrestling prowess have made him one of the biggest and most enduring threats the WWE has ever seen. Randy is not in there with an opponent. He's in there with prey. On the apron! The hardest part of the ring. You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. He reverses it. And he tosses him back in now. The adjectives for both of these superstars are almost identical. They're both nefarious, driven, cold, calculating, and methodical. And that is why I am grinning from ear to ear. Just the kind of qualities you love, Corey. Irish curse! Not done yet. Again! How about one more? <laughs> Three massive Irish curse backbreakers. The Viper scouted. Oh, what a slam. He could pin his opponent right here. He's able to kick out before two. I didn't think this match was close to over. Saw it coming and got out of there. Oh, targeting the neck. The Viper taking a moment to soak it all in now. Driven down. The Celtic Warrior. White noise! Sheamus proving just how much the fight means to him there. Oh, there's the Irish curse! Bro kick! That could end the Viper's night. Cover! Oh, kick out, kick out of two. Talk about a close count, but the Viper is still in the fight. The unmitigated power of Sheamus was not enough to put this away. The Celtic Warrior is going to have to hit even harder to end this. From the top, look out below! It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Oh, an arm breaker. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for... Comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Attack after attack from the Celtic Warrior. And Orton needs to bring the match back to his pace. He's back into the... Well, I'm not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? A lot of tension being used. He's got it locked in. It's locked in. Now would be a wise time to submit. Way to break the curse. Close line. Right to the gut. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Oh, there's the Irish curse backbreaker. And the pro kick. No doubt. Sheamus ended this. Good call. It's a new yoga technique. Relax. Sheamus' words hit just as hard as his fists. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. The Viper in bad shape here. Impressive moves from Sheamus, guys. You can't take much more of this. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Randy Orton is slipping, but he still might have an RKO in his back pocket. Exploder suplex. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Randy Orton gets him back. Four. 
Orton playing mind games with the enemy. Comes down across the hand with the axe handle. going to take. Well, I'm not going to wait for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Trickling hold, weakening the back here. What a unique submission maneuver here. And look at the pain his opponent's in. How much punishment can he tolerate right now? The Billy Goat's curse is broken. Good luck stopping Sheamus now. It's like battling a truck. Sheamus looks possessed. Taking this to the floor. Whip back into the ring. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Big oh. impact. Oh. Sheamus is in crisis mode. Is it enough? The cover! Somehow he kicked out. Sheamus is still alive. The Celtic Warrior loves a fight and does not want this one to end. That should have been it 99% of the time it is. Orton is seeing red right now. He's got more work to do here. Hard landing. Randy Orton says he may get the three count right here. This is it. Money powered out at two. I can't believe it. Don't oh. turn out the lights just yet. punishment from the Viper. Look, Sheamus loves a fight, but he can't be liking this. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Oh, no. Not this. Orton's earned many a career with the punt. Devastating attack from the Viper. Cover. Randy Orton wins. Here is your winner, Randy the bright side for Sheamus is he can consider himself legendary because the Celtic Warrior is the newest victim of the legend killer. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 218 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, CM Punk. Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. You know, guys, as talented as this superstar is, I think ambition might have clouded his judgment. Reigns is in God mode as we speak. Here comes the head of the table, the tribal chief. Roman Reigns, the leader of the bloodline, 
has arrived. And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. One of the most confident men in WWE today. You feel the aura of the arena change the minute the opening notes of his song hit. Roman Reigns changes the feeling in the building. It's all about his yard, plain and simple. Roman Reigns looking to continue expanding his empire. And expectations have to be high for the champion in this one. Yeah, even when your title isn't on the line, everyone still expects to see you competing at a championship level. Well, here's hoping they can deliver just that for this crowd. And then there's Roman Reigns, the embodiment of greatness on a different level. The epitome of absolute dominance from the moment he sets foot in the venue. Reigns turns that around. And Roman Reigns demanding acknowledgement from the WWE Universe. All the way over. Oh, wicked kid to the cover. Kick out close to three. Not yet. Well played. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Neck breaker. Ooh. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Oh, stomping away. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Ooh! Sharp punch. The dominant streak of Reigns getting a bit challenged. Gets out of there in a hurry. Look out! Slingshot sent on to the outside. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. He wants even more out of his opponent. What a punch! How much more can the big dog with Stan. Just like I recommended, keeping a good pace and not allowing the Tribal Chief to intimidate him. Sit out, powerbomb! You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a powerbomb with that much force. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Ooh, accurate roundhouse. Cover here! That's all she wrote. Here is your winner, CM Punk. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.
Did someone call for a superhero? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane. Let's be honest, guys. This guy has about as many superpowers as he does brain cells. You know what, Corey? It just seems like you are green with envy. Oh, my God. You did not go there. I did. but I got goosebumps. The People's Champion is here. Listen to these people. They're going nuts. Team Bring It is in the building. Saxton, you couldn't warm the bench for Team Bring It. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, The Rock. Yeah, I can't even imagine living the Rock's life. Can you guys believe The Rock wouldn't even let me try on his $500 shirt? Of course I can believe it, because your bank account's about 499 bucks short. We're about to see The Rock lay the smack down. All the catchphrases aside, The Rock is all business tonight. <laughs> the Rock holding court inside the people's ring. What's there to say about The Rock that hasn't been said already? There's a reason he's known as the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. He's the man who redefined what it means to be a superstar, and he continues to do so whenever he sets his foot in the squared circle. Just keep that in mind in this one. And across the ring is a man having a severe identity crisis. I can't believe we let this escape mental patient into the building. I think I still have some kryptonite laying around here somewhere. Come on, Corey. You're not a fan of the hurricane? What's up with that? Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Turning the tables. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Now, uh, here we go. Beautiful. Swinging neck breaker. The Rock may be in a bad way here. Despite the Hurricane's heart, he's at a great disadvantage against The Rock. Corey, how can Hurricane narrow the gap? Stick and move. Hurricane needs to utilize his speed and ability to take flight. Attack the great one from all angles, and he may pull out another surprise win. Held in a perilous position. Targeting the throat there. to do next. Down on the windpipe. Ah, oh, kick! Here's the cover. Almost two and a half. Close call. That was almost lights out. Ooh, the hurricane answers back. And there's a neck breaker. for the hurricane. 
The Rock letting his opponent know exactly what he thinks of him. And some effective offense with that one. Put it in a position now. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Oh, an alley -oop bomb. A power bomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. And again. Well, if you want. He's got him down. Is this it? And he easily stops the ref's count. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex! The Rock with some good timing here. And the Hurricane can't stop any offense coming his way. Rock going off on the Hurricane and says, you don't step to the great one. Eye of the Hurricane. This rivalry has gotten and into the count. Two! What? Oh, he kicked out. He thought he had it. Go behind from the Hurricane. Has him up. Third breaker. The Rock just got checked in. Two. It's over. The Hurricane takes it. Here is your winner. The Hurricane. The Hurricane just took The Rock down. I can't fathom what just happened. This is the biggest moment in Hurricane's career. In Hurricane's life. Now you know that superheroes are real. The WWE Universe on their feet. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. And is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challenger at a combined weight of 560 pounds. The Rude Warrior. It's a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. WWE Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos! The champ comes into his title defense incredibly confident, Corey. And with good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make sure you don't lose. That is the champion's advantage. The self-proclaimed show stealer. Do I sense sarcasm coming from you, Saxton? Maybe. And representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dog Ziggler. One of WWE's most accomplished superstars, a multi-time world champion, multi-time intercontinental champion, multi-time tag team champion. Is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do? 
Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be one of the best in all of WWE. Uh, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. A truly glorious arrival. A multiple time champion around the world. There is no one else as glorious. I can think of some people. Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Robert Roode. A man who is never lacking in confidence, nor should he. Yeah, it's easy to tell that Robert Roode competes at the absolute top level, both mentally and physically, each and every night. You think about Rude, guys, he lives large in and out of the ring. Does Robert Rude ever stop bragging about how talented he is? Listen, when you have that much bravado, you got to back it up, and Rude does just that. It is undeniable that Robert Rude is a polished competitor. More polished than the top of Saxton's skull. Multiple teams facing off in this Tornado Tag match. In a Tornado Tag situation, you never know how many opponents will be targeting you. The only one on your side is your tag team partner. Oh, what a close lock. Oh, close line. What impact. Oh. Nicely done. Inverted scoop slam. Larian sent into the corner. And it was a successful bit of offense for that maneuver. This is an attempt for the championship. He stops the count for his partner. Double leg drop. Jumping DDT by the show off. That's right. Put your ones up in the air for main event Jey Uso. With the championship on the line. Oh, I thought it was over, but again. Can we please get some control? Robert Roode thrown hard to the outside. And that definitely made solid impact. Alabama slam. That was all sorts of nasty. Being carried around with ease. And this might not have a pleasant ending. And that was an effective attack, guys. He's looking to completely render this leg useless. And we just saw some serious offense. Oh, what a close line. Well executed takedown. And well-timed maneuver there. Into the barricade. And that was some brutal impact on that DDT. And a well-executed move we just saw there. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Challenger eating up some damage. Kendo stick to the skull. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Just one right after the other can be stopped. Just like that, Dolph dodges away. A back suplex. Rapid fire Samoan drop. There he goes, right into the corner. Oof. Close line in the corner. Jumping neck breaker. Out. Watch out for Dolph. Six in. To the back of the neck. Scottish sickle. The champ shoulders are down. He keeps his team in the match. From behind. Back suplex. And of 
course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any road ninja attacks. Side headlock applied. What a good Watch. measure. Caught with a neck breaker. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Coming next, back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Jimmy saw it coming. Ooh, that. Robert Green, absolutely glorious. The top of the Chiefs' heels. Oh, and he breaks up the pin. Oh, look at the hammer lock. And there's more. Damn it, to the arm. Oh, man. Now a pin for the championship. He's got control. Suplex. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Right across the larynx. And that was a precisely measured attack. Jawbreaker. Call the dentist. Left by the turnbuckles. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Show off looking to deliver. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Oh. Sharp knee. The challenger is here's the pin title on the line. And he kicks out of the pin and one. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Oh. Oh. Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, Dirty Dogs. Dolph Ziggler with the finishing touches on this one. After that win, this superstar stock is rising, and they are dancing all the way to the pay window. Here comes the queen of extreme. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Sanford, North Carolina, Lita. A true fearless daredevil, the Hall of Famer herself, Lita. Haley, a couple of women have held the original women's championship more than Lita. And Lita can still compete at a level to overtake them, I guarantee you. Without question, as much as Lita has accomplished in our industry, she has not missed a beat. A Hall of Famer and an icon in the women's division. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. Well, there are egos and there are egos. Trish has won a lot of matches and looked great doing it. An amazing mix of beauty and brawn. One of the most iconic superstars of the women's division, Lita, set for in-ring action here tonight. It's hard to imagine where the women's division would be without Lita, guys. I can guarantee she is one of the biggest influences in the world. Uh, could be nap time. Man, she's got a lot of heart and a lot of guts, but I don't know if she can hang on here. Heart. She needs to find a way out in short order. Not going to last long, and she escapes. Oh, look at this. Hairball net slam. Wow, what a pump 
kick. Trish getting the crowd behind her now. Face first with a waist lock takedown. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Ooh, earth shattering spine buster. That unraveled on Trish. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Ah, stopped to the belly. Lita starting to get the crowd involved. Ooh, look at her answering back. Corey, obviously Trish Stratus's strengths and weaknesses are no surprise to anyone in WWE. But what would you say is... Oof, she is not abused in the slightest. Stuck in the tree of woe and just having their face stomped. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Able to reverse. Oh, man. Lita in defensive mode here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Oof. Had it scouted and met with a back elbow. Straight into the post on the outside. She goes back inside the ropes. Watch out! Suicide dive! Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Uh-oh. Thunderous power bomb. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Hurricanrana. Keep her down. She breaks the count quick. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Just pounding away right to the face. My God. Stratus needs to figure this out. Somehow Trish has to turn the tide. Reversal from Trish Stratus. Trish showing she's not out of it. She's trying to fight back in this one. Beautiful athleticism. Hurricane Rana. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Close line. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. Alley -oop. Looking to crush the hamstring. Oh. Another one? A third! Unbelievable intensity from Lita. This is Lita looking at her best. To take it to the extreme with the Lita salt. Stratus is completely out of it. What? Only two? Amazing. I can't believe Trish was able to get the shoulder up in time. Lita went all out. It wasn't enough. Wonder where her head's at now after coming so close. Right to the leg. She avoids the attack completely. Oh, face first. Chris Stratus looking totally worn out here. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Trish showing she's not out of it. Trish showing she's fully capable of fighting back. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. And Trish gets countered. Lena's showing the crowd some love, and they're returning the favor. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? No, no, no. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Oh, reminding her that she did not come here to play games. Can she do it here? My goodness. Hey, covers are great times to stretch your thighs.
Lita with a twist of fate. That kind of offense is what cemented Lita's legacy. Set up for a second time. Oh, so did Lita clinch this? That's gotta be it. Two count. Lita gets the win. Here is your winner, Lita. This one really could have gone either way, but it is Lita standing tall right now. Yeah, we knew coming into this match that she and Trish knew each other well, and that would come into play here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and is for the WWE Divas Championship. Alexa Bliss is here. One of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division. She's held the SmackDown, Raw, and women's tag titles on multiple occasions each. The second woman in WWE history to win the women's triple crown. We are about to see five feet of fury unleashed. And that is bad news for Alexa's opposition. Of course, the title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. You can see here the confidence of a true champion. Introducing the challenger from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. And her opponent from San Diego, California, she is the WWE Divas Champion, Brie Bella. The historic Divas title may have a new owner tonight. Nearly a decade, the Divas title was the pinnacle for women's wrestling, and it's back up for grabs tonight. Michael, you and I were there to call the final defense of this title at Roadblock in 2016, and I am excited to call it again right here tonight. Hair whip! It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Oh, God, that'll rearrange your skull. Oh, Buster! She knows the WWE Universe is behind her now. Oh, what a clothesline! Yeah. Alexa Bliss has been unpredictable over the last few years, so how do you go about accounting for that? 
By all appearances, she's settled down a bit. So the main thing here is to exploit whatever disadvantage presents itself against Bliss. Alexa's incredibly crafty, but she's almost always at a size or strength disadvantage. So use that against Little Miss Bliss. From the top rope. Whoa! What a landing! That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Alexa evades that one. Forcefully isolating that shoulder there. There is a fine line between strain and pain when your shoulder is worked like that. Ooh, she got rocked by that knee. And the referee gets caught in the line of fire. She scores big with the counter. Shoulder tackle. Mastermind Bliss with the mind games. Ooh, she'd had enough of that. Rebella setting something up. Full head of steam. And did you hear the impact of that? The champion into the cover. Yes, the official. Right place, right time. Three Bella attacking her opponent. Now gonna put her in a cross face. Cross face locked in. Oh, nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. Could be tap tap time. This is the worst case scenario. Oh, the cross face is in good. I don't know how she's going to get out of this. Try to break the grip and does. That was a great move. Ooh, takedown. Oh, straight forearm. The champ taking their share of hits now. Say what you will about her, but Little Miss Bliss has this crowd in the palm of her hand. Come on, nice takedown. Gonna spin them over, and there it is. It's locked in. Smart maneuver. I'm oh, gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. You still do a lot of damage, though. Trying to break the submission, and she does. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? She throws her back in. A well-timed dodge. And a basement drop kick. Wait a minute. Darkness has just enveloped this entire arena. I can't see a thing, guys. Oh, look at the mounted thrashing. My favorite kind of thrashing, Cole. Drop kick with precision. Lights out. DDT connects. Champ looking to end this. And a kick out of two. I can't believe it. The people can't believe it. I don't think the referee can believe it. Three mode engaged. A championship level move. Makes the cover. The champion retains. Here is your winner, and still, WWE Divas Champion, Brie Bella! Quite the win for her here. I'll hang my hat on a win of that caliber any day of the week. This is one to be proud of.
one fall, making his way to the ring from the pits of hell. Weighing in at 326 pounds, Kane. Hey, I think we got a criminal on the loose. Give me my phone. Put your phone away, Corey. What could possibly be wrong with this competitor? They fight too hard. They're always on the attack. They're crazy. Those are all good things. You're crazy. Here comes the awe-inspiring, high-flying Hall of Famer. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Rob Van Dam. From ECW standout to WWE legend. One of the most unique athletes sports entertainment has ever known. A man who's held multiple world titles, been the face of ECW. RVD is a man who sets the bar very high. Guys, there is only one Rob. Van Dam. Rob Van Dam is considered one of the true innovators of Extreme. He's always been willing to do anything in the squared circle, no matter how dangerous it may be to him as a competitor. That no fear, throwing caution to the wind, balls to the wall style of offense is something We've seen in quite a number of superstars over the years, but make no mistake, RVD originated. Yeah, and I'm sure he has the battle scars to prove it. But across the ring is a competitor with something to prove, making this the toughest challenge the champ has met yet. Yeah, Corey, if anything, you have to use this opportunity to prove yourself as being worthy of a future title opportunity. Vaulting plancha, incredible. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. If you want to defeat an agile superstar like Rob Van Dam, there's really only one way to do it. Keep RVD down with constant offense. You can't give him any room to maneuver. I have to agree, Corey. The fewer offensive options Van Dam has, the less threatening he is as an opponent. power slam and the electricity of this mo yes he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt standing moonsault gets all he thinks he has it and there's the kick out it'll take more than that to hold him down uh oh oh he retaliates Nice counter from Van Dam. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Ooh, reversal catches RVD. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. From the top, diving clothesline. Uh-oh. Go for the run! And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. And that can keep RVD. And a victory! A win! Here is your winner, Kane. And he certainly proved himself a superstar to watch with this one. With a win like that, he just stood up and commanded the attention of everyone in the WWE Universe. I think they've noticed, Byron.